despite all their problems they don't seem to be overawed here that was Alexandra and that wasn't a very good ball Bayano, this is a real chance now and at last the deadlock is broken and Fernando Bayano ends a lovely sweeping move by giving Brazil the lead Well, you have to say that at last there is someone of real quality. On the end of the ball from Ferrugia, it was a lovely one too. And Fernando Baiano opens the scoring in this quarter-final. His delight, quite obvious. who plays for Independiente in Argentina and again it was Fabio Belica but now might be something on here still might be something on here oh that's a tremendous goal the equaliser for Mankert he's cut inside the challenge he's superbly well and Jorge Anken has conjured up an equaliser out of nothing with two minutes of the half remaining and another one of those goals that will go into a, a montage at the end of these championships of goals that would grace any level of football. That's a tremendous finish. And Jorge Anker, who plays for the Danubio club. And it's just 18 years of age. Has tied things up at 1-1. finish of real quality and it's brought the crowd inside the national stadium and of course if we go to extra time in these heat conditions it's going to be a real test of the physical fitness of the players as this time Pellegrin goes down and the referee without hesitation has pointed to the penalty spot. No hesitation. And this could be one of the key moments of these championships. The referee did not hesitate. Pellegrin went down. It's the third challenge in quick succession. Here he is. One. And that right foot by Mancini is the reason for the penalty and so Uruguay have given to Nestor Canovio the opportunity of taking the lead against Brazil with four minutes and a little left is another big name about to bite the dust in these championships and Uruguay are in front England and Germany didn't make it past the first phase the holders Argentina crushed by Mexico in the second and are the great Brazilians about to go out in the first of the quarter-finals. Nesta Canovio's 